It's time for Tirade Tuesday on 95.7 FM and 710 AM KCMO. How dare you? It's morning, so it's Mundo. All right, on a Tirade Tuesday on KCMO 95.7 FM, streaming on the iHeart or TuneIn apps. Let's start in Merriam where Luke is first up on a tirade Tuesday. Let it rip, Luke. Good morning. Hey, uh, we have to remember there's crazies on both sides of the aisle. Every flat earther I've ever met was a Democrat. Uh, So it's just like pepper. It's sprinkled between uh, all of us. What you might not be able to disagree with is the active effort to stop relief efforts in North Carolina. If you all saw the video yesterday of a Black Hawk helicopter prop washing a relief center, that was established as a no-fly zone where they were distributing all of these certain elements to people who were getting them into the mountains. The Black Hawk helicopter came in, prop washed the entire thing, and destroyed the whole layout area, blowing the side tents. I did see and, that uh, video. I did see the video. It was, it was weird. Um, I don't know what to make of it. I didn't really do much research on it after the fact, but you're right. I did see that video. Okay, there was tons of reports of FEMA officers stopping efforts. And, of course, that was uh, poo-pooed by most mainstream. It's like, oh, no, it wasn't happening. Well, now there's video of that that Blackhawk. The other thing is I don't understand the Republicans' repulsion to electric vehicles. Uh, Chris Plant, got to love him, but he's always been like, ah, you know, they're horrible for the environment. I personally think it's a great effort. Tesla is the most American company ever. Um, the electric vehicle market is something that's going to happen no matter what, so it might as well be dominated by an American company. You know, Elon's come to our side and just been a boon to the the right side's movement. I'm sorry, I still don't understand this weird Republican, and I'm a Republican, I'm conservative, but I've always just been <laughs> laughing at how, like even my father has been like, oh, EVs are horrible, Tesla's horrible. No, they're awesome. <laughs> I wish I had one. EVs are more efficient, and the, the difference between generating the power in your engine versus a power plant, I design power plants. Natural gas power plants are like 60 to 70 percent efficient. Your internal combustion engine is like 30 percent efficient. So you are utilizing the gas at a better efficiency and you're displacing a lot of the waste that comes out of a vehicle and i'm in an icy car so all right you know, Luke, it's thank you weird. buddy thank you i got it man I, I i totally appreciate it you got like three three for one deal there so i got to keep it moving 913-408-7957 mark is in brookfield mark what's your tirade go Pete, i get tired of you complaining about the announcers on these ball games all you got to do is Devo your TV and listen to the radio. You can sync them right up, and it's just like you got your own announcer on the Chiefs Network or the Royals Network. Well, thank you very much for that, Mark. I appreciate the tirade on the baseball TV announcers in the postseason. I don't mind Bob Costas, but I would prefer something else. I also would prefer it if I'm going to support the radio broadcast if they were in The family, so to speak, and that is not the case. Maybe that's part of why. John in Independence, what's your tirade? John, go. I am so impressed hearing the commercials with Sharice Davis realizing that there's a fentanyl problem in the Kansas area. Of course, it's in Missouri, too. It took her this long to figure it out. I wonder if Mr. Pelosi said to her, hey, it's time you talk about about the uh, fentanyl problem in Kansas, you know. Don't they all realize it's all over the place and do something instead of sitting there talking about it? I am so sick of politicians. Thank you very much, John. It is uh, election season, so now suddenly all the issues that we've cared about for a long time, they start to care about as well. 913-408-7957. Victor Parkville, Tirade Tuesday. Go. Good morning, Pete. My tirade is about the First Amendment under assault. You know, by the li- you know the liberal media and leaders in the Democrat Party like Hillary Clinton, John Kerry, you know, both of them are pathological liars. They want to punish people or even jail them for lies or disinformation, whatever they can define that as. You know, I'm a high school graduate. I'm not some Ivy League college communist, but my textbooks had some pretty good information, and I picked up a few more tidbits over the decades. You know, history is replete with highly partisan newspapers full of lies and propaganda. William Randolph Hearst built an empire on yellow journalism. Hell, he's responsible for starting the Spanish-American War. Remember the main. You know, Madam Secretary, if that's what you want, well, that's okay. You and your husband can be first in line. 
you for being responsible for the Russian collusion dossier and Bill for, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. But I wouldn't worry too much if I were you. That pesky constitution that you hate so much will protect you and your cronies, and those strict construction of Supreme Court justices that you have such disdain for will surely interpret that marvelous document as written and not as one that is living and breathing. Thank you very much, Victor. Give me that Bill uh, Clinton example, and uh, uh, give me that one more time, would you please? Oh, now, Bill. Now, wait a second, Pete. You know, you're you're absolutely adorable for this. I, I like you. Don't be making fun of my wife, Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Jim and Lee Summit, what's your tirade? Go! Uh, it's about the uh, Missouri Attorney General, Bailey, also the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office. Uh, I uh, Some homeless people burnt down my home in the northeast area and uh, lost... Uh, about three hundred thousand dollars, no insurance because they won't write insurance in that neighborhood. They're burning down homeless, are burning down so many homes. And unfortunately, I went to the internet, and I got a crooked uh, a company uh, that did auctions, and uh, he hasn't paid me a cent. And he wrote me a check uh, that was a felony. It was uh, a defunct corporation in Missouri for. A six thousand five hundred dollars and the prosecutor's office says well you just have to get attorney we're not going to charge him it's a class one felony and a state rep is working on this because he's got four other lawsuits against him old people that he this guy preys upon because he don't think that they'll live long enough to <clears throat> to sue him get through court and so uh, jackson county won't do nothing and the, the Missouri Attorney General Bailey won't do nothing, and I and you got the rep is livid over this. Well, and Jim, he, I'll just say this: uh, send me an email. I'm curious to learn more. I can't really go back and forth on the segment, but send me an email, uh, Pete dot Mundo at Cumulus dot com because I do want to hear more. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jim. Tirade Tuesday continues. Let's go to 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 do Paul in Kansas City. What's your tirade? Go. Hey, my tirade is uh, the press secretary for the Biden administration, KGP, just got promoted to senior advisor. Pete, this is like the radio operator on the Titanic being told, hey, you just got promoted to captain. And oh, by the way, we hit an iceberg. Good luck. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you very much there, Paul. 913-408-7957. Carl, Independence, what's your tirade? Hi, Pete. I got a friend who used to work in the federal government, and uh, I... I am absolutely uh, astounded that the FEMA is out of money because October 1st starts their new year. They just got their uh, bank account uh, popped off. So where's all this money gone? This, this whole thing smells. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I'm with you there, Carl. It is obviously one of the all-time great scams going on right now. And that is that the fact that FEMA has suddenly announced, boy, we just can't find any money. We can find it. The government can find money when it needs it for something it cares about. But when the people in charge do not care about poor rural people in red states, suddenly it's like, oh, there's no money. I don't know what to tell you, you know. I mean, if this was New Orleans and the government response had been what it had been over the last two weeks, do you realize how the media would talk about this story differently? Like, let's just be honest. If the people involved look differently than the people who have been absolutely decimated by Hurricane Helene, you know and I know the media would treat this far differently. Bruce in Overland Park, what's your tirade, Bruce? Go. Uh, good morning. Thanks for taking my call. little piece of information that KU fans hate, MU, and K-State fans will love. Here it is, Pete. The last two minutes of the first half and the last two minutes of the fourth quarter, Kansas has been outscored 62 to nothing. That's unacceptable. Leipold needs a fire. A whole bunch of coaches gets a bunch of new transfers in this coming uh, spring and see if we can continue to resurrect uh, Kansas football. Well, Bruce, that is a great stat I had not heard. Outstanding work. We'll end it there on a tirade Tuesday, and I'll just say this much. This is shaping up to be a disastrous season for KU football. All the hype coming in, easy 
schedule by Big 12 standards, pick to reach the college football playoff, and they are one in five. Coaching's a problem. Jalen Daniels looks like a shell of what he was. And now you've got home games at Arrowhead. They're going to be empty because the KU fan has turned the page to basketball season. And every game they've had a lead in. Every game they've lost, they've had a lead in. You go back to the Illinois game. You go all the way to last week against Arizona State. They blow it in the last couple of minutes. They have had a lead in every single one of those games. West Virginia as well. And um, UNLV, they keep finding ways to lose them, Mark. A 90% probability to win in every game they've lost. That is embarrassing. (laughs) Absolutely embarrassing. So thank you for that, Bruce. Good little tidbit on a tirade Tuesday.